Topic four, share-based payments. Occasionally companies will pay for goods and services with share-based payment or compensate their employees with share-based payment plans. Share-based compensation plans for employees can be equity settle plans in which employees receive shares. Share-based compensation plans can also be cash settle plans in which employees receive an amount of cash based on the value of the shares in the company. Let's look at an example of share-based payments to non-employees. JBC Corp issues 1,000 no-par common shares to Utility Energy Limited in exchange for electricity for the month of June, which is set by a contract at $5,000 per month. The shares are currently trading at $6 per share. The entry that follows will use the value of, the, of which is received, not at the value of the shares given up. So we will debit utilities expense for the $5,000 of the contracted price of energy and credit common shares for that amount of shares issued. Share-based payment plans to employees. Equity settled. The fair value is estimated once and then accrued over the vesting period. The vesting period is the amount of time the employee must serve to receive the compensation. If the plan is cash settled, then the fair value is recalculated annually, with an adjustment being made yearly for the fair value and the forfeiture, that is, payments that won't have to be made due to employees leaving the company. An example of an equity settled plan. JBC Corp has five employees. Each is granted options for 100 shares each for a total of 500 shares at an exercise price of $10 per share. The plan is equity settled. The options do not best for three years. The options expire in five years. Let's assume no employees are leaving the company. The fair value of options on the date of grant as determined by pricing model is $6,000. The entry during the vesting period is to debit compensation expense for 2000 which represents the value of the shares at grant date, 6000 divided by 3, which is the, um, the vesting period, the three years of the vesting period. So each year we will debit compensation expense for 2000 and credit contributed capital for the common share options for 2000 Fast forward three years. And there would be $6,000 worth of shares of the fair value, which has been fully allocated to compensation expense, as well as accumulated in the contributed capital amount. Once the options are vested, that means they can be exercised. So let's say all employees exercise the options immediately once they vest. The entry would be debit cash for 5000 which represents the 500 shares times $10 each. Debit the contributed capital for common share options for the 6,000, that's the 2,000 for each year times three years. And the common shares issued would be a combined value of the cash received for those options, as well as the amount for the common share option. However, if instead the options lapse, and they are not exercised, then we would need to still reverse out the contributed capital for common share options, but leave it in the same bucket to reflect the fact that these options are no longer exercisable. So replace it with a credit to the same place, different account title, contributed capital, share options expired for that amount of the 6,000. Let's look at a question. JBC Corp issues 50, no par, common shares, to rentals are us limited. This is in exchange for renting a commercial space for one month for a pop-up shop. The shares are currently trading at $75 per share and analysts expect that in a month, they will trade for $95 per share. Had JBC not issued shares, they would have had to pay $4,500 for the month. What will the amount be to record the rent expense account for this agreement? Would it be A, $4,500, B, 3750, 
C, 4750, or D, only a memo entry. The correct answer is A, 4,500. Entries to expense for share-based payments are recorded at the value for the goods or services in exchange, so received. In this case, the rental value, which would otherwise have been paid, would have been $4,500 had they had to pay in cash. Alrighty. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.